Well, hello everyone. Tim Key from MyBTOnline.com. A few minutes late. We had some technical issues getting started here. Uh, we are on YouTube. Hopefully, people are, are, are haven't abandoned us yet because we are on YouTube now. Uh, appreciate everybody's patience right now with what's been going on. We've got a new website, and uh, the guys in Pakistan that have been working on it. You know, Pakistan's a, lo a long ways away. And uh, they've been trying to work out the bugs. We launched our new website this week. And it was, uh, you know, sometimes that stuff goes with, uh, without a hitch, and the, you know, or with a hitch. And we didn't go without a hitch. So but I appreciate everybody's patience. Everything should hopefully be worked out by, hopefully by the end of the week. All right, so now for the play of the week for this week. So let's go wide on it again. And we're going to remind everybody what we had. So let's make sure we don't have any volume. We don't have any volume. All right, here we go. So this was the play where it was a potential DPI, possible defensive pass interference. And here it is, boom, boom, boom. And there we had a flag on the play. So that official obviously thought it was something. So let's go to the poll, okay? So here are the poll results. Is this DPI, 38%, no foul was 62%. So about, you know, two-thirds, no foul, one-third DPI. Pretty close. Here's some of the comments. Howie H, bang, bang, play. Only bucket you could place it in is early contact, but I felt as if the defender had a pretty good, or pretty good timing on this play. Let him play. MIBT. Got to love that. Robert, MIBT. I love MIBT. it. I absolutely love it. Great MIBT. job. MIBT. <laughs> Joe V, I voted DPI. Defender made contact before the ball arrived. Clear, uh, sim simple. And Mike H, nope, bang, bang, play equals no foul. So I want to go to the play breakdown and remind everybody what are categories of defensive pass interference. It was mentioned by Howie H in that comment. What category can you put it in? Early contact, playing through, grab and strict, hook and turn, arm bar, cutoff. Early contact, playing through, maybe. Maybe one of those two. Not really playing through because it wasn't playing the ball. It was a tackle. So early contact, Howie was right. That's really the only one that we could put it into here if we do have this as DPI. So remember those categories when we are talking about DPI. So I think this was a seven-person game, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to talk about, if we look at a formation, we've got a balanced formation, okay? So it's, a, it's I formation, pretty, pretty standard. You've got a tight end right here. You've got an end right here. And you've got a back right here. So basically... When we go through this, we need to know who's got who, who's looking at what. If I'm a back judge out here, I'm going to probably key off of this receiver. If I'm the line judge right here, I'm, I'm going to key off him. And if I'm the H up here, I'm looking at this. But what do we see? Robert, let me ask you, where's our competitive matchups? When we see this on this, type, this plate, I only see one. What do you see? I only see one as well, Tim, and that is that tight end uh, near the... Uh well, right there in the line of scrimmage. Everyone else is loosey-goosey. Yep, right here. This is it. That's our only one. If I'm, a, if I'm up here as the H or I'm down here as the L, I'm going to zone right away because I've really got nothing to look at. But the, the back judge is going to probably want to take a peek, and maybe the L can just take a peek at this just because they've got nothing else going on, just to make sure this guy gets off the line cleanly. So now we know where everybody's looking. So here's the play. Look, clear as day. Everybody's off the line. So key zone ball. Our keys are all gone. They're free. They're out and about. So we're now going to zone. Everybody should be going to zone here. And our umpire and our referee should be concentrating on everything that's going on back here. Maybe our line of scrimmage officials can peek and help out because there's a lot of green going on in this play. So we'll keep the player rolling. And as you can see, everybody's still, still pretty clean. I think our umpire is like an up judge. I don't know if you want to be that far back. But ultimately, if you are, he's staying out of the way. You don't want to pick this guy off here, number 24. You don't want to be part of the play. So it looks like that's what's going on. So now we're continuing the play, and now here, here's that contact. So once the ball goes in the air, we should all be going to the ball, specifically the H and the B. You know, the line judge might be able to help from all the way over here, but probably not. They're probably going to be more of a backside help on this one. So this is going to be right in the the H and the B's wheelhouse. So you'll see he's, he's, he started to flow down, maybe flowed just a little bit too early because he might have lost his angle, but ultimately he's looking at this 
right, he does have a pretty good angle on this, and he's going to judge that this contact occurred prior to the ball arriving, and he throws the flag. Now, we're out here playing Monday morning quarterback, okay? We're looking at this, or I guess it's Wednesday night quarterback. So we're looking at this, and we're saying, yeah, bang, bang, we're going to pass on it. That's my opinion. Bang, bang, we're going to pass on it. If I got to go frame by frame by frame, I don't want to call this. But what I will say is that the officials, specifically this official, like I said, he might have moved a little bit, but he, didn't move, he was actually pretty good. He had the angle on this, and he's looking at it, and he's looking at it at the correct angle. So if he thought the contact occurred early and it was enough for him, he threw the flag. My only criticism or, or suggestion would be is if this official is going to throw the flag like that, he better do it all game. Any contact like that, the whole crew better be consistent in regards to making a call like that. But I think he, he was in pretty good position. And a lot of times we need to be in the correct position in order to make the correct call. So um, I'm going to go to Bill. Bill, you, you, know, you see a player like this, we talk about the philosophy, bang, bang. You know, if I got to go frame by frame, we should pass on it. But we really can't argue with, with the position. And if he, he, he has a call, he makes a call, right? Yeah, I mean, the back judge is the one hey, who's Rob. looking through the back the back judge is looking through the back of, of, of things and he can't, he doesn't have the depth perception for seeing the arrival of the ball and the contact where that wing official, he's got both. One's coming from his right, the contact, and then the, the ball's coming in from the left. So he has that ability there to have the, have the best look at it, whether it was his key or not, because we're in zone coverage. Um, the only thing I'll tell you about is, is that if, if you're, if you're going to make that call, okay, the flag's down. Um, if, if the call is wrong, you don't want to be wrong the rest of the night either, making the same type of call. So if, if you've made the adjustment then you, and you can't correct this one, you just move on with life uh, and that. So be careful with, with, with saying, well, we got to make, we've drawn the line in the sand and we've got to call this all night. Um, if he felt the contact, you know, it's one thing if the back judge says it's bang, bang, I'm not throwing a flag. He's got the angle. He's got the responsibility as the wing. He's got the, if he's got it early, it's a foul. And but, he's, not doing it on, he's not doing it on when in doubt. He's doing it on I've got it. It's well, early. That's, the, that's the point, Bill. I'm not saying that, well, we're, we're bang, bang, now we got to call. No, it's, if it's a wrong call, then we don't make the wrong call. But he thinks this is the right call, and he's in position to, and if he's got that contact before the ball arrives, and if he's going to get out his micrometer and say that the ball arrived, he better get the micrometer out all game. He can't just... Well, he, he you can't had the micrometer out. Was he right? No, I said I think the contact... I think this contact is bang, bang, and it shouldn't have been called. But he's in position. We're looking at this, you know, from 100 miles away, 10 weeks later, or however... He's looking down the, if he's got the angle, he's there. A lot of times I'm going to go with what the official on the field called because he's in right, he's in the proper position. If he was in the incorrect position, then I would be like, no, you didn't see this right. But even though I don't agree with it, I don't think that this should be called. I don't want to call this. You know, it's not like going back to what Howie said, it to be, make it be there. I want these to be big. I don't want to have to get out the micrometer and go frame by frame. But if you're this official and that's your you know, you've created this bar. We can talk to that official afterwards and say, hey, you might want to be, you might want to consider that this is a little bit too technical. This is a little bit, you know, too <clears throat> close to call and maybe then educate them. But if you're going to draw that line, if that's where your, that's where your contact is, you think it's right there, then you need to, you need to be consistent with that. You know, and the back judge isn't going to be able to take him off this call because of his angle because the back judge can't definitely say anything. But if it was reversed and the back judge threw on this and the wing, short wing didn't, there'd be the opportunity then for that short wing to come in and say, hey, we need to talk. So now it's time for this week's MIBTOnline.com play of the week. We love it. We love, you know, we have a great time doing this. So here we go. Let's go wide on this play. So I want you to watch what happens here to the quarterback. Watch the quarterback. Watch the quarterback. Watch the quarterback. All right, I'll play it again because I want everybody to watch the quarterback. And this was sent in 
from, I think from Idaho. Watch the quarterback. Watch the quarterback. There we go. One more time. I'll give you one more look at it. We're going to watch the quarterback. Watch quarterback option. Here we go. All right. So now, here are our options. Is the contact on the QB unnecessary roughness or no foul? Here's your option, or here's how you get a hold of us. It's, uh, the poll's going to be on Twitter, and you can email me your comments. You know, we show, share comments. I might even try to get a poll on YouTube. I see people doing polls on YouTube, too. So if I can get it on YouTube, I'll put it on YouTube as well. But that is going to be your choice, unnecessary roughness or no foul. Now, like I said, we're not going to be broadcasting our meeting next week, but we will answer this. And you will see uh, next week sometime, Wednesday, Thursday, you will see the response plus another play that we will have for the MIBTonline.com play of the week. So please be sure to still comment because we're going to go through some of them. I'd like to hear what everybody has to say, and I can't wait to see the results of the poll.